Hi there everybody and welcome back to my channel for a tutorial on dynamic equilibrium shift. If you find this video helpful, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like before you go and always check the video description for any updates to this content. All right then, so in this video, I'm going to discuss how the position of equilibrium can shift in response to changes in concentration, pressure and temperature. I'll also chuck in some extra info about catalysts at the end, but the science there is a little different. Remember that a shift to the left will increase the proportion of reactants in the mixture and a shift to the right will increase the proportion of the products. Starting with concentration. If we start to increase the amount of one of our reactants, then the equilibrium will shift to oppose this. To lower the concentration of this adjusted reactant, the position of equilibrium will shift to the right hand side. This is to use up this extra reactant and oppose the change which has taken place. This shift allows the equilibrium to re-establish after a little adjustment and minimizes the effect of the change. This kind of shift to the right hand side can also be seen if I was to decrease the concentration of one of the products. If I want to shift the position of equilibrium to the left hand side instead, then I would need to either decrease the concentration of a reactant or increase the concentration of a product. Alright then, now moving on to changes in pressure. For pressure, we first need to check that we have an entirely gaseous homogeneous equilibrium and that we have a different number of moles on either side of the reaction equation. Otherwise, the equilibrium won't respond to changes in pressure. The second point about making sure that we've got a different number of moles on either side of the reaction equation can be very easily checked by just adding up the numbers which are used to balance the reaction equation from each side, as you can see on screen now. Then, the rule for changing the pressure and the shift in equilibrium is very simple. If we increase the pressure, then the position of equilibrium will always shift to the side with fewer moles. And if we decrease the pressure, then the equilibrium position will shift to the side with more moles. Either way, once again, these shifts will minimize the effect of the change in pressure in accordance with Le Chatelier's principle. Sometimes exam questions try and trick you by mentioning that the reaction vessel volume is changing instead. The ideal gas equation teaches us that pressure is inversely proportional to volume. This means that when one increases, the other decreases. So what we need to do is carefully look out for exam questions which describe an equilibrium vessel volume decreasing as it's really just a sneaky way to distract you from what is just really a change of increasing the pressure. Our final change to the position of equilibrium will be because of temperature. For temperature, we need to know the enthalpy change for the forwards reaction, which is normally stated alongside the equilibrium in the exam questions. We are allowed to assume that any stated enthalpy change alongside our equilibrium refers to the forwards reaction, unless of course we are told otherwise. Once we have this information, we then consider that the reverse reaction will have an equal and opposite enthalpy change. This means we have a new perspective that we can consider our equilibrium to have an endothermic direction and an exothermic direction. So when temperature increases, the position of equilibrium will always shift in the endothermic direction. This is to oppose the change and lower the temperature. In your exam answer, you need to really emphasize as well whether this shift is to the left or to the right. Similarly, when temperature is decreased, the position of equilibrium will always shift in the exothermic direction to oppose the change and raise the temperature. 
Once again, you would need to emphasize in your exam question answer whether this shift is to the left or to the right. On a final note for this video, I want to talk about catalysts. A catalyst will not affect the position of an equilibrium. And this is because a catalyst will increase the rates of the forwards and the backwards reaction by the same amount. So there's no shift in the position. However, we can reach the equilibrium quicker with the use of a catalyst. We can sometimes say that a catalyst increases the rate of attainment or decreases the time taken to reach equilibrium. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like before you go and consider subscribing to stay updated. Otherwise, until next time, happy revising.